All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive right into the masculine's current energy. What's going on with the divine masculines? For those of you watching, I ask that the universe bring you clarity on your journey. Okay, let's see what's happening with the masculines. Okay, so we have distance, retreat, or timeout. So some of you might have your masculines at a distance right now on a timeout. How is this affecting them? How is the distance, the time apart, affecting the divine masculines right now? How are the masculines being affected by this distance? Why is that coming up for us? Okay, so we have two types of energies coming out. Okay, we have water and earth signs. This could be a combination. You could be the earth sign. Your masculine could be the water sign. Water sign is Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Earth sign is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So... It, it doesn't always have to be, guys. I mean, I keep meaning to get into readings that pertain to earth signs, water signs, um, you know, fire signs, air signs. Um, you know, potentially that could be something that we look into. Um, just because, like, sometimes when it comes out, I'm very drawn to the qualities of of the, the zodiacs, okay? The qualities within that person. So it, it could go either way here. Um, if your masculine here is the water sign, I am feeling like they they are emotional about the distance. Um, I don't know why I'm getting to say this, but um, whoever's the earth sign, I, I feel feminine energy with the earth sign. Okay, and I feel that you guys are completely grounded and it maybe bothers your masculine that you are so grounded at this time or they think that they're the only ones suffering in the connection right now. That's what I'm getting. They're bothered to watch you go off and be in a good mood and do your thing. But I feel like this is a lesson that many of you have learned on the journey in terms of keeping your vibration clean, keeping your vibration high. Um, I do feel like the distance and the retreat or timeout card is coming up because a lot of you cut this masculine off because they might have been bringing down your vibration or weighing down your vibration. Okay, I'm hearing too much drama. Um, a lot of the, the masculines too... Um, and I don't know why this irks me, but I feel like it's, it's so weird in this day and age for like masculine men to want to be chased by like women, feminine women. And I feel like it really does rub a majority of the feminine collective the wrong way. Um, and it really does remind me of like growing up, like I grew up in the islands back in the Caribbean and it was like the complete opposite, you know, it's like men court women like men do the chasing they enjoy it they enjoy the thrill of the chase um but i find like it's so odd here in this like north american culture and society that i do find that a lot of our masculine men have those like very like feminine tendencies when it comes to like the courting ritual i don't know if that's going to make sense for some of you i don't even know why i'm being guided to talk about it but um i do feel like it rubs the majority of you the wrong way because you know it's just it's reversed the order and what is happening is just not the way it's supposed to be and i feel like the reason a lot of this is happening is because many of your masculines through this twin flame journey are recognizing and understanding what it means to be masculine okay that's why many of you in the feminine energy you rep like your masculine is re repelled they run from you because when they're sitting there in, in in feminine energy and they're clearly the masculine phallic energy um it, it scares them that you come with masculine energy, okay? And I, I know that this may be the case for many of you where it's like you meet your masculine and you're, it, it, the initial connection is almost a, a competitive at first. It's very like tit for tat. Somebody wants the upper hand. Your masculine is not used to, first of all, somebody exuding masculine energy. And, um, you know, I'm hearing like with poise, I don't know who that's for. But you exude a lot of masculine energy and the, the crazy thing for your masculines to see is that like you may be like a, a, a woman, you could be a divine feminine, but when you could switch up like that and really display a lot of qualities that have a lot of masculine tendencies and I do feel like a lot of your masculines become very intimidated um, by these qualities, very triggered by these qualities because I feel like what it awakens is um like they're supposed to be in that energy you know that's why many of your masculines admire you like they 
love to hate you, hate to love you type of thing, right? It's like they can't stop watching you. I feel like many of you have masculines who have karmics who can't stop watching you. There is something to be learned from this divine feminine who is very in, like uh, very much in this temperance energy, I feel. Um, you know, you know just how to play both roles very, very well, um, masculine or feminine, but you're sure about the core energy that you are. But if it comes... Uh, you know, a time or a place or a situation where you need to be in your masculine energy, I feel like it really just wows people, particularly this divine masculine, okay? Especially if they are the water signs, um, there is something about your strength or the way that you, I mean, I keep hearing the word poise, like you carry yourself with poise. Let's look up the definition of poise. Sorry, guys, I just, <laughs> I have to do these things because I feel like there might be like more messages in there for some of you. Let's look up poise. Okay, so having a, a composed and self-assured manner. Okay, so that is definitely some of you, Divine Feminine. Very self-assured. Um, just, they're intimidated by that. They feel like they should be carrying that energy. So they will run from you. They will repel. They will ghost you because it's embarrassing. It's downright embarrassing to communicate with you and constantly have you check somebody or put them in their place. Or I feel like... You're the type of divine feminine where it's like nobody can fucking clown you. And I'm sorry to curse. It's just the way it's coming out, the energy. It's like, don't try to clown me because I will embarrass you, okay? I feel like that is that kind of like authoritative masculine energy that you may carry at times. And then boom, you switch it back to being like nice and soft and feminine. But it's like if anybody crosses you, it's like, do not cross me, you know? So that's what I'm getting from the feminines. Let's see what else is coming up. We have apology and forgiveness. Um, something tells me maybe this distance was brought on by you having to get into your masculine energy to maybe stand up against a masculine who was like, I don't know. I feel like they let their emotions get the best of them. They let the triggering get the best of them. Maybe they couldn't hold themselves in conversation with you. Maybe the, um, sparring, right? The verbal sparring between you two, they, they couldn't keep up. Okay. You have a hot mouth, whoever it is you are. Um, I feel like apology and forgiveness is maybe them kind of running from the situation. I feel like apology and forgiveness is going to come up because they don't feel like it was the right thing to do. Like there's something about this divine feminine, whoever this message is for, whoever is listening, if you're the divine feminine. Um, I do feel like you have a way of like humbling people. Okay. Um, you're just a straight shooter. And you tend to get the best of people. Like this this masculine wants to apologize because I feel like you maybe got the best of them or the best of their temper or the best of their like impulsive emotional. That's why I'm feeling like the masculine is probably the water sign here. Um, and they maybe snapped. Like I don't know what it is, but you had to put them at a distance and you had no problem doing that as this grounded earth sign here and i feel like they want to apologize because when you feel like you're right about something you're not gonna reach out to this masculine you're not gonna communicate like they're the ones that are gonna have to reach out and communicate because i feel like it's not to say that like you're always right but i'm i don't know like you know how there's some zodiac signs where it's like okay you don't mean to say you're always right but usually in the case like they they always are right like I'm sure many of you might have like a particular earth sign in your family or somebody who's just really tuned in, really grounded. And it's like, they don't mean to be arrogant, but they usually are maybe like 99.9% .9 of the time right about certain situations. I feel like that is how you are. And maybe they, I don't know, like they realize some kind of shortcoming or I don't know, like I'm just getting a masculine who might have spoken to you or might have said something to you and you really, you check them and now they want your apology or forgiveness because you're not budging. That's what it is. This earth, earth sign is not budging. You could be a Taurus as well because not budging reminds me of the bull. Okay, it takes a lot for this big bull to get up. Um, I feel like once you've said your piece and you sit down, it takes a lot to make you get back up again. Um, okay, let's see what else is coming out. We have spy watching and inspecting. So they could be looking for 
the right opportunity to reach out okay waiting for the right opportunity to reach out maybe even feeling out your energy or i'm hearing your mood some of your masculines could be texting you from fake numbers and the reason they're doing this is because they know that you know it's them and they want to see how you're going to respond if you ignore the message if you don't even open it up and read it if you send them back something cheeky to say hey listen like fuck you i know it's you um, I feel like they're looking out for your response. So be mindful, okay? Inspecting, watching you guys, spying on you. Um, be ready for your masculines to be testing the waters, reaching out to you in some way, shape, or form because apology and forgiveness that's coming out here is telling me they want to end this, this distance. They want to close in this distance now, okay? I feel like, you know, like it's, you guys can literally look here. It's, it's, you know, he's kind of left behind back there and she's the one looking back. I feel like they're waiting for you to look back and maybe send some kind of sign. Let's get the feminine's energy. How are you feeling? <laughs> I feel like very steady in your feminine energy here, divine feminine. Okay, so it's going to have to be the divine masculine to reach out. I feel like you guys aren't going to be sending any hints or clues. Um, I feel like whoever this divine feminine is, because that we have feminine coming out, you already know what your masculine is up to and i feel like you guys aren't budging um you might make them sweat a little bit is what i'm getting okay i'm gonna make them sweat a little bit and i feel like they they are in that energy right now of sweating just a little bit <laughs> um because again they're maybe not getting a response they're used to at least getting a response or having you say things like i know this is you like you know, reach out to me from like your real phone number, whatever the case is. But I feel like they're not even getting that. You're making them sweat a little bit. Can we get more on the feminine energy? How else is the feminine feeling? So we have thoughts and we have isolating. Okay. So you might be thinking very carefully about the masculine returning. I feel like isolating and thoughts, this combination here, just because of the worried look on their face. Um, so some of you might just be in a place of wa wanting to walk away or feeling like this is the card that represents I know what you're doing or I know what you're up to. Many of you might feel like you're contemplating that. Like I feel like this is a confirmation. If many of you are feeling like you're being watched or you're being spied on, you might be isolating yourself. Isolating could come in the form of like taking yourself down off of social media, um, just kind of hermiting more, like, you know, bunkering down. You don't want anybody to mind your business, so you're not going to be putting anything out there for people to find, okay? I feel like you're really in your thoughts this time about this distance and this space. Like, I feel like whoever's the feminine, you're, right now, you want to keep them at a distance. Like, you're in this energy of, like, you've, you've, you've maybe crossed at like a threshold of this journey is what i'm getting like i feel like before you wouldn't be able to to be distant from this masculine for too long but you're in your you're in your power right now i feel like maybe by isolating you are in your power so you're not budging you're not moving until you carefully to think things through okay thought by thought thinking things through isolating you may have your guard up before you can fully let this masculine back in I don't know, whatever it is to, whatever they said or they did to cause this distance or this separation, I feel like it might have been intense because we have the forgiveness and apology card coming out. Okay, we definitely have a masculine here that may be in, maybe in a lot of regret for the way that they handle themselves, but I do feel like they've learned, like what have they learned from this? What does the masculine learn from this? Why do they want your forgiveness? Okay, I feel like these are way too many, so I'm only going to take the card that fell on the floor. Let's see what that is. Okay, so we have assistance and spirit guides. Okay, so maybe dreaming of you. It could be intuitive messages, synchronicity, something that's telling them here to close in this distance. They're getting some assistance, which is why many of you can feel them coming back in. Um, they're being guided back towards you. Spiritual help in the form of like dreams I'm hearing. Okay, a lot of you have divine masculines who... I feel like they get clarity about who it is you are. Because I'm, I'm seeing a masculine that's really hot-tempered. And maybe these are some things that you've showed up in their life to help them 
address or, or to help them navigate through like I feel like when it comes to maybe relationships or being in relationships with you they're getting some kind of clarity through spiritual messages again it could be dreams it could be seeing your face in the crowd um, wanting to communicate again wanting to close in this distance I shared a similar reading to this on the channel guys just recently um, about you know like the synchronicities coming back okay so expect many of your masculines to make a return all right guys <laughs> she always comes at the right time okay they're gonna make a return just like this pop up on the scene just like this <laughs> okay guys anyways that's what i have for you for this one hey get your bum bum away from the camera oh my goodness you cheeky all right guys that's what we have for you for this short check-in i love you guys take it easy and i will talk to you guys in the next reading okay bye guys